In late November of last year, Yemen elected a new president. Today, a new executive order from President Obama is designed to make sure that Yemen makes a peaceful transition. But is this a case of the U.S. government propping up a dictator? Ben has the reality check you won't see anywhere else. Well, President Obama issued an executive order today giving the Treasury Department authority to freeze the assets and the money of anyone who gets in the way of the political transition in Yemen. So here's the backstory. Late last year, Yemeni President Ali Abdullah Saleh signed a deal to hand over power to his deputy in return for immunity from prosecution. Now that move meant that Abrabu Mansour Hadi became president after a transitional election. Hadi will now lead a two-year transitional government tasked with amending the Constitution and holding parliamentary elections. Now, the only problem with all of this is that while the U.S. is backing the new president, Hadi, many people in Yemen and across the West are not. And the election that Secretary of State Hillary Clinton congratulated Hadi on winning, well, he was the only candidate. Since the election, the Obama administration has been propping up Hadi with large amounts of money and military assistance. Yes, we now have U.S. troops on the ground in Yemen in an advisory role. So what was today's executive order really about? Well, it grants the Treasury Department authority to freeze the U.S.-based assets of anyone who obstructs implementation of the administration-backed political transition in Yemen. And what makes it even more unusual is that administration officials say it targets the assets of U.S. citizens who engage in activity deemed to threaten Yemen's security or political stability. Now, does that mean Americans or those who have assets in America and call for elections with more than one person on the ballot are a threat to Yemen's political stability? Under this order, it would appear so. Also, the decision to freeze those assets is left up to the sole discretion of the Treasury Secretary and the Secretary of State. Another big question here, though, has this happened before? And the answer is yes. President Obama issued a similar executive order for Somalia in 2009. The other one precedent in 2006, President George W. Bush issued a similar order regarding Ivory Coast in West Africa. So here's what you need to know. The step taken by this executive order really is extraordinary. For the U.S. to support a one-person election in Yemen and then put our troops on the ground there to advise. Meanwhile, we talk about the importance of free speech and protest in our democracy, all the while at the same time yelling about unfair elections in Russia. It all seems to ring so very loudly of hypocrisy. And that is Reality Check. If you'd like to make your voice heard on this story, head over to Ben's Facebook page. You can find it by searching Ben Swan, WXIX.